Hey everyone, Cherie here. Today I'm going to be creating a Traveller's Notebook spread using some gorgeous things from the Catherine kit from Felicity Jane for June 2020. I do have some things already picked out ready to use. I've got the minty blue polka dot paper that's going to be the background of one of my pages. I'm also planning on using some of this scalloped strip from the solid colour paper as well. I've got the puffy stickers. I absolutely love these stickers. They're so gorgeous, so I'll definitely be using some of those. I'm also planning on using one of these labels. Lots of colours to choose from here, so I haven't quite decided which one yet, but I will get to that. I think I will be using one of the phrases from the Catherine Stamp set. I'm thinking loving, but I will decide as I go along. Um, as much as I would love to use the beautiful multicolored alphabet from the kit, I think because I have so much color going on in my photo that the title would get lost. So I'm planning on using the Jenny Puffy alphabet stickers. This is from the older uh, Jenny kit. So I really love the font of that one. So I've got that there ready to go as well. My journaling is already printed and I've printed it with a very faint line around the outside because I want to cut this into a large tag shape. So that's ready to go too. I think I'm ready to get started so I'll pop you on fast forward and show you how I'm going to put this one together. All right so I've cut out my journaling into the tag shape now. I just cut off those top corners and I'm using the little tab die from the Shade Tag Builder die set and the solid color paper and I'm just cutting out a little tab for the top of my tag. So I want to stick this into place now before I go ahead and stitch around the outside of the tag and that way I'll be able to stitch over the top of that tab as well. All right, so just positioning that. Now I can grab my sewing machine and add that stitching. All right, so that is done. I'm now going to punch the hole out of the center of that tab. I used a quarter inch hole punch for that one. And I'm going to add the photo to the bottom of that tag now. Just sticking that one into place. It's about three inches wide, that photo. So it fits nicely into that tag. So I've got the scallop strip that's going across the bottom there. There was a little bit too much white on that edge. So I'm just going to trim that down a little bit and then I can add it to the bottom of the tag. I'm just going to tuck it underneath that bottom edge of the photo. So I love that that's just adding a little bit more of that red to this page. Okay, so I can now look at decorating this tag and I've got those gorgeous puffy stickers. That row of hearts is one of my favorites. So I love that it has all of those colors in those hearts. I'm going to add a red mini wide paper clip to the side there just for something a little bit extra and that floral puffy sticker as well at the bottom. I've got the Jenny uh, puffy alphabet stickers there for my title and this happy day sticker is also from the Catherine puffy sticker set. Just adding that to the side there next to my journaling. So I'll go ahead and stick my title down into place now. And for the dotting of the eyes, I'm using the little hearts that are also included in that uh, puffy alphabet sticker set. So next up, I'm going to add some twine to the top of my tag and I'm going to tie that into a bow. So I like that that just adds a little bit more texture to this page. So now that all those things are in place, I can go ahead and stick my tag down onto my background paper. Just using double sided tape for that one. Just making sure it's nicely centered as best I can. I just wanted to make sure that yellow circular sticker wasn't hanging off the side of the page. So for my full sized photo, I want to add one of these gorgeous labels to the bottom of the photo. So I've chosen that minty uh, blue color to match in with the background paper on the other page and I'm stamping the loving word onto this. I'm just stamping it a few times and then I'm going to uh, add a yellow puffy heart sticker as well just to the side of that and that's just bringing that yellow color over to this side of the spread. So once it was stuck down I decided I wanted to add some stitching across that so I do remove that puffy sticker so that I can get that stitching done. 
and then I can just go ahead and stick that little heart back into place. So that was done quick and easy and that heart goes back on there. I just need to trim off those threads. Okay, so that is looking pretty good. All I need to do is add the date to the side and I'm using my Felicity Jane roller date stamp to do that. So that is this Traveller's Notebook spread done and I can go ahead and add it into my Traveller's Notebook. So let me know if you've got any questions about this one. Uh, I'll pop a link down below to Felicity Jane as always if you'd like to go and check out these goodies for yourself. And I look forward to bringing you another Catherine Kit project very soon. Thanks so much for joining me today. Have a good one.